What's up everyone? Happy Thursday night. How are you? I hope you're doing good and ready to find out what they're saying to their friends and family about your love situation. And I'm going to get a channeled love letter from their higher self to you before we get into the gossip. We're going to spill the gossip from their higher soul on their true feelings for you. So it's a two-in-one <laughs> kind of reading. For the most part, we're going to find out what they're telling other people. But like I said, channel letter. Alright, so I'm going to hold up each sticker. I want you to vibe out whatever one calls to you most. That's your pile. Go to the description box below. Find your timestamp and I'll meet you at your pile. I get to either put my legs straight or Indian style. I like this table. It's like... um. It's my coffee table, but it reminds me of like a Chinese table, like because I'm sitting on <laughs> pillows. All right, stop bumping your gums. Get down to business. All right, pile number one. We're gonna call this one two people. <laughs> Looks like they're kind of hitchhiking. <laughs> Let's call them the hitchhikers. Yes, hitchhikers way better than just two people. Pile one is the hitchhikers. Pile number two, we're gonna call these the lovers. Actually, no, we're not. We're gonna call these ones twins. I'm renaming them all in my notebook too. All right, pile two, you're the twins. Sorry, it's with the glare. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Pile number three. Also, my nails are horrible. I've just been super busy and I have to paint them. But I'm babysitting my nephew tomorrow. So I'm just going to wait because we're going to the playground and they're going to get all fucked up anyway. <laughs> Pile number three. Simba and Nala. With the galaxy in them. <laughs> I'll do this again since I was fucking off. Pile number one is the hitchhikers. Pile number two is the twins. There we go. Without the glare way up there. Pile number three, Simba and Nala. Alright, description box. Find your timestamp. Toodles for now. See you there. Bye. Hey there, pile one. You picked the hitchhikers. Super cute. All right, we're gonna. I have a whole stack for you of all the gossip we're spilling. I have a channeled love letter from their higher self to you. What they want to say to you right now. I'm gonna draw some of what I call my. I'll show you one. It's just like pieces from magazines that I cut up, recycle with artwork. <laughs> Kind of like, oh Jesus, like my um, fortune cookie tarot, but not. Channeled cards to find out even more gossip. So we're going to do a couple things live for you since I did a lot not live. <laughs> I didn't look at it yet though, so I'm excited to see what these, it took me about 30 minutes to do your stack. Because I was like really just letting spirit drop the cards out. Waiting for a card to fall out. So I'm sure this will be very detailed. 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 Whatever. Everybody says that weird. <laughs> Alright, let's get some cards. I'll shuffle these in between. My last night upstairs, I think. I've had the house to myself for two weeks, so it was pretty nice. <laughs> it was like spring break for couples. <laughs> it just gives you time to miss each other. That's how. That's how you want. I'm going to be dead tomorrow. I'm going to wait to do my workout after my nephew because I'm going to be chasing in a 
around the playground, I'm sure. He's three. My little, my little dude. He calls me Wizzy. <laughs> Wizzy, wait! <laughs> My sister's pregnant with my niece, so she has to go to the doctor's and I'm going to take my nephew to the park while she does that. Because it's annoying to have a toddler when you're trying to get <laughs> sonogram done. <laughs> Poor thing is so scared of labor. She had, she's only got one kid, but her labor was fucking horrific. He came out in an ambulance on New Year's Day morning. <laughs> just barreling right out. She like, her water broke and my mom had her on her bed. They were like getting ready to go and then all of a sudden there was his head and then my mom's like, oh my God. <laughs> and they pulled over. <laughs> I can't imagine how scared she is. That was like, for your first kid, that was way too fast and way too much. Even when I was like, oh damn. Oh damn. <laughs> I don't, whoa. <laughs> he was ready to be born. That just goes to show you, everybody is different. Everyone is expecting her to, I'm just spreading your stuff out by the way. Everyone's expecting it to take forever because it's your first kid. <laughs> nope, he was ready to be born. He wasn't fucking around. And he's like that now. Like he's go, 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 never fucking sleeps. <sighs> I love him. Alright, let's get into your... Ooh. So. Let's start with your channel love letter from their higher self. So we don't get confused once I get into the gossip. So if this is what. If their higher self could come out of their body. Whoop, and stand right in front of you. And tell you how they truly feel. This might not be how they. They might not even realize they feel this way yet. Depending on what we hear in the stack but it's from their higher self here we go my nose is itching so it's gonna begin Ooh, my better half i lay in bed and think about you what are you thinking right now how was your day did you think about me do you look up at the moon by the way the moon is fucking beautiful tonight it is a full moon if you are in central new york or new york in general go out and look at the moon. Pause this right now and go look. It's gorgeous and huge. Anyway. and I, Do you look at the moon and wish for me like I wish for you? I feel like there is no better match for me. I feel we'd work well together and be different enough to always have adventure in our lives. I picture our wedding, our home, and the children laughing as they play. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. I dream of falling asleep in your arms in contentment and bliss with a smile on my face. My throat chakra just closed. <laughs> I know you would never be unloyal or untrue. I know that love from you could move mountains. I know you're rare and special and an angel on this earth. Anyone would be lucky to be honored with your love. I pray to God that I'm that lucky. I only want to love you cherish you and make you happy I love everything you are you're it for me you're my shining star every night I lay dreaming of you you'll always be my one true love love your eternal flame mm, my God. I wrote those a long time ago <laughs> I use them from time to time but you forget what they say how romantical spirit when I channel you <laughs> all right so we have partners in protection and help us. So, they could be telling people that you either, well, there's going to be two sides to this reading because I feel like it's going in that. Ooh, helping hands as well. 
either you both like work in the same charity or you're both charity workers it doesn't have to be the same working and involved in world issues right now or you like literally work together like this is a co-worker relationship or this is per this person ha is in some kind of like business organization and they're saying this person which would be you could really help us maybe they have a per a, a perspective why can't i speak my throat chakra is getting all fucked up i'm very reactive to full moons by the way that's why i'm a little weird <laughs> um and why oh what the heck oh it's my candle I have a different candle going. Yeah, I feel like if this person is like a business owner, they're like, this person could really help us. We need more helping hands. Why not take them on? Partners in protection. They feel safe with you. Um, they, this could also be saying that you they feel like you'd be a power couple or you're going to go out and do healing and spiritual work together. Oh my God, people united. So I feel like you are in some kind of organization, if that makes sense. Or you're going to literally bring people together. Maybe you have large families or you both work in two different organizations. I don't know why this is about work right now when it's a love, whatever. Active and vibrant. So they see you as someone who's probably fit and healthy or just very busy, very popular, always on the go. Divine defining roles and frustrated he is not forgotten shocking scandal strength looks incredible on you anytime anywhere so I feel like this person is saying you're like trying to figure your shit out basically in business Maybe you're trying to start something or maybe you're trying to recreate a new brand or a new image. You're working hard on something, but they see you as very frustrated because you had some kind of shocking scandal um, that probably like tarnished your name or your business name for some sense for some of you out there. Um, so they're, you're like in rebuild mode, but they see that you're frustrated because it isn't going well because of some kind of shocking scandal. So they're telling people about that. He is not forgotten. Um, I think this person is saying like you haven't forgotten who you are. Although you've changed a lot. There's still like your common roots to you. You still have a moral compass. And you're trying to like better yourself. Which is good. Anytime, anywhere. I think this person is like. I'm just going to put out. They would probably do you anytime anywhere they have a lot of sexual attraction they see you as somebody who's really like glowing up really repairing yourself after some damage because we have strength looks incredible on you so they see you as someone coming out strong despite all the bullshit around you i feel like they feel you're doing fairly well a love rekindled but it's just the beginning and then we have a sunset here if my story helps even just one person dealing with trauma, then sharing it was worth it. Oh, so you're speaking your truth and that's maybe what the shocking scandal was. You speaking your truth and this person's like, this person did it, man. They're sitting up there. They're speaking their truth. It's really hard for them. I just feel like they're proud of you. They're recognizing that something was very hard for you to do and you're standing in your strength. And I think that they're saying that you're opening up anytime, anywhere. Like you're unpredictable. Like you're becoming a new person, but you're also, um, they see that you're still crying. Like the good attributes when you were younger, they still see that in you, but they see a dramatic change and like this glow up in you. Love feelings are coming back here. Um, I don't know if you've been not in contact or in separation or this never really got off fully um i do think they want to restart and they're telling people about that and i feel like they're saying um they're hoping you come back around with the sunset this to me is like it's been some time since maybe you guys talked or it's been some time since 
maybe you try to get it started before or it's just been some time is what I'm getting in. You're like closing out one cycle of your life, beginning a new one. They're recognizing it, but it's just the beginning. Yeah, you're just, you're still figuring yourself out. Like you're, you're having this glow up, right? They're recognizing that you're very different than what you used to be, but you have a long way to go maybe before you're ready for this relationship. Let's see some more gossip. We have, I'm not happy. Ooh, they think you're not happy with your person. They're also expressing they're not happy with their person. So some of you, you're both with people. Other people, they're just saying they think that you're not happy with your person. Yes, it's real. It's not all in your head. So I think they're, I think they were at a point where they were like, guys, I don't know if this person likes me or if it's just like in my head, maybe I'm crazy. I think they've moved past that. They're recognizing like, no, I know this person likes me. I'm not, I'm not sure if you like what has happened to change that, but they definitely are coming out of that. It's not just me kind of thing. I'm sorry if I've been harsh and pushed you away. It's hard for me to see you with someone else. So yeah, I think they've been a little bitter to you. Maybe they've said some harsh words and they're like, I shouldn't have said that. I was just mad about whatever I saw them out and whatever. Like they were, they get um, triggered, I would say, when they see you out with your person. If I could tell you, I just want to kiss you. I want to kiss every inch of you. This isn't even supposed to be in this deck, guys. This is a completely different deck. I never wanted so much in my life. I think about you all the time. Everything you do lights me on fire. So obviously they're telling people that they have a lot of sexual feelings. They're very attracted to you and that you're the one. Damsel in distress. I think they think you're in trouble in your relationship and in your life trying to clean yourself up. R&R &R before the party. Yeah, they see you as someone who's resting and recovering from coming out and speaking your truth and just dealing with a lot of trauma. They see you in your corner. They're telling people like, this person isn't even ready for a relationship right now. They just need some downtime. But I don't feel like it's a bad thing. I'm not ready for a long-term commitment at this time. I can't give you what you want right now. Yeah, again, they're saying... R and R, they they're not ready for commitment. Basically, I hurt you. I hurt myself. I hurt my family and friends. I messed up my good name. I lost my confidence. I lost my way. I'm hurting. So this is what they think of you. They're saying that you went down a wrong road. You hurt yourself. You made mistakes. You hurt. You probably broke relationships with people. I'm hearing like maybe you're either in like a narcissistic or toxic relationship or you had some kind of addiction because they're recognizing like, but they did reference trauma. So maybe you've just had a lot of trauma and in the process of dealing with that, you became maybe a angry or dark person for a while, which happens. I can't make sense of this and it's driving me crazy. They can't understand why they can't get over you. Like, I think they've really honestly tried. They're like, I can't forget about this person. I think about them all the time. I'm at work, I think about them. I'm driving my car, I think about them. I go to bed at night, I dream about them. They're like, it's literally driving me crazy. This is my calling. You feel really good about your job or work. You're getting a lot of signs and you're following your intuition. You're about to hit it big. So yeah, they're definitely recognizing you're doing something in business and they think you're about to take off. They're really proud of you there. When you touch me, fireworks ignite my soul. It's like ecstasy. I'll chase that feeling all my life. I can't get enough of you. So if you ever like had sex already, it's like <laughs> being away from you is like torture. Or they could know about your sex life from past lives. Or this is just them thinking that it's going to be like fire. So they just have a lot of sexual thoughts and they're probably like gushing to their girlfriends or boyfriends like, I just want to like, <laughs> I just heard Marvin Gaye in my head, let's get it on, <laughs> whatever that song is, so it made me laugh. Yeah, feeling the vibes. They're definitely feeling you right now. I don't know if there's like bad blood or any kind of toxicity before, but all that's over. They're all about... 
spending some alone time with you and seeing where this goes. You've been putting in all the work. It's time for you to step back and collect yourself and have some fun. Yeah, so they're like, you've been busting your ass. Now, what? maybe you're on vacation right now or whatever. They just see you as someone who's, like, been through it. And they're just taking a minute to, like, self-love and put put themselves back together. I can be myself with them in ways I've never been before. So they see a strong friendship with you. And they're expressing that. You can't let go of your vanity. You don't need all the money or the best of... Okay, so they think you're a little bit stuck in the 3D. You are, like, all about the Benjamins, having the nice shit. Like, a little bit materialistic and a little bit vain sometimes. They are so angry at me. I don't, I'm not saying it's true. I'm just telling you what they're saying. They are so angry at me. I want to fix this so bad, but they don't care to be around me at all. So they think they've blundered it in some way. Maybe it was those harsh words they brought up earlier, but they're like, I fucked it up. I don't know what to do, is what they're expressing. Ooh, divine intervention is happening in our union. They're helping us to finish this. I feel like they're trying to manifest you when they're getting signs that it's working. I know what I want now. I'm ready to make a plan. So they're saying they definitely, they're, this is why they're saying it's no longer in their head. They're like, I know this is my person. I feel they feel it too. And I'm all in. So I drew some songs to try to get the vibe and what, how would they express, express, why can't I speak with this one? My throat chakra gets fucked up sometimes. If they could play a song for you to express how they're describing you to others or how they feel. Two came out for you. <laughs> we have Shaggy, It Wasn't Me. Honey came in and she caught me red-handed, creeping with the girl next door. Picture this, we're both butt naked, banging in the bathroom. Yeah, I just feel like they have a lot of sexual fantasies about you. I do think to their close friends, like if they have a glass of wine and they're like talking to their friends, like I had a dream the other night, like they're having some crazy dreams about you right now. Then we have Drake, best I ever had. Again, with like they think you're it, they think that the sex with you is amazing or will be amazing. It's the full moon, man. Oh my God. <laughs> Everybody's like mad sexy time vibes this week. I know you're feeling it out there, collective. I don't got to explain it to you. If you're couples, you probably had mad mad sexual energy this week. You could It could have went the other way, too. You could have been bickering, because sexual tension can sometimes cause bickering. <coughs> oh, God. <laughs> one second. Sorry about that. <laughs> but that one. As you can tell, she's back to sleep. I, I waited a minute. Somebody parked in my driveway from next door since I have a spot free right now. She's like, who's in my yard? I will eat your face. <laughs> um, where was I? Drake, best I ever had. Um, yeah. We, we did that one. Where was I? Okay, up here. Moon. There's a lot of mystery. I don't think they know how you feel about them. or I don't think they know where this is going exactly. Or why, they, again, they can't understand why they can't get you out of their mind again mercury they're trying to make sense of this trying to figure out how to come forward because i think they really feel like they blew it in some way so they're like uh i gotta come correct what do i what, how am i gonna come correct how am i gonna apologize i'm hearing yeah fire a lot of passion could be a fire sign here but i just feeling a lot of sexual energy a lot of passion what energy do they think you're giving off? She who unfolds. I don't know how to fucking say that. Oh my god. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> we have self-care. Yeah, so again, referencing, they see you as guarded in your little area. Just self-caring, taking care of yourself after a really difficult time. If they're saying anything negative, they're saying um, they think you're still in a little bit of the lack like maybe you don't feel good enough or you don't have the confidence or you, or this is you um, maybe getting out of money problems or getting out of a situation calling in the storm to have what you need 
or this is you taking your power back they're expressing any of those things i just feel like it's kind of a mix of all like they feel like you're standing up to people you're speaking your truth but that you're also like rebuilding your image and your name and you're maybe trying to build up finances they see you just like working hard hustling man to do your thing naked before the stars they see you stripping yourself bare and talking about your whatever this trauma was um I don't know why I feel like this person kind of I don't know if they've ever been through trauma but they recognize like a familiar a familiar why can't I speak every time like pile one this person is choked up there's a similarity let's try that word between you and this person I think um I just feel like they either were there at your point and they recognize and remember how hard that was to do or they just have great compassion and they're able to see that and people like they have so much compassion for um what you're telling your truth about i don't know if you were a victim of some sense or had a really um traumatic experience but they have great sympathy for you and i think they're just saying how proud they are of like finally they're letting it out and finally they're being th themselves I'm getting that energy of like a sigh of relief for you for being healed enough to be able to talk about it but also like a sigh like finally other people can see what I've seen in this person they do see you freeing yourself from something or someone um, freeing yourself from scandal or freeing yourself from a karmic they do see a past life with you again referencing if you guys have never had sexual relations in this life they definitely see and remember it i'm like look at the picture look at the passion i think they've seen some like fire bomb ass sex with you guys in past lives and they're like what i want that i want that in this life so i think they're like almost waiting to go to bed at night and i think I don't know if they are like somebody very spiritual has a spiritual community i just feel like first like this is people that they're very comfortable with and would know they're saying like on the dl i've we've had centuries of fire sex <laughs> like I, I don't well i guess i'd tell my neighbor jen about my spiritual work i would tell her that if i was seeing that i've told her about sex streams before like dude oh, let me tell you something when we we're driving like you know girls we talk about shit we do romantic feelings yeah so they're definitely it oh my god it just flew i think they're hiding these romantic feelings from you or they can't say it or can't express it in some sense but they're saying like my truth is I, I'm in love with this person or I'm crushing hard or I want this person. I think maybe they're trying not to have romantic feelings for you because I feel like you're in some kind of karmic situation or a long term. And, and they feel feel like, oh my God, I can't speak for this one. Um, they feel like for some reason it's over. But they do want to like bring the romance back. They do want to start showing you that they have feelings for you. They're trying to grow up. I think this person expressing, like, I just need to get my shit together in my own life. I see this person going off and doing their own shit, so I'm just going to be over here doing my shit. So while you're healing and doing your self-care, I feel like this person is doing the same thing, and they're expressing how you're kind of on the same page there. Um, they're worried about you, though. They really feel like... One, it's hard for you to go through this traumatic experience and talk about it, but I think you're, they feel like you're trying to get out of something really toxic and it's hard, or maybe you're struggling. Yeah, again, referencing they see you working hard and that they're also working hard on their own life. I think they're expressing that they hope that you two get time together, but for right now, you both seem to be focused on your careers.
hand of cards. They want to take a risk and take a chance, but they are trying to be smart about this because they do feel like they fucked up before and they don't, yeah, they think it's over. Like, I want to come forward, but I think it's over. I think maybe they'll just slam the door in my face if I do. Or I can't right now because they're with so-and-so and they seem happy. We have boat. Receiving what you need. Progression arriving. Moving on. Yeah, they're trying to move on. They, they. I feel like there's a sense here you're with someone. And it seems to be like... Good things are happening. And they don't want to mess it up for you is the vibe I'm feeling. Mirror. Treat your body like the palace it is. Again, referencing with this four. Maybe you're both with other people. Maybe you're both getting out of relationships and just need to love yourself. But again, referencing you're both mirroring in the sense that neither one of you are ready for it because you have healing work to do. This person is swimming away from the relationship. I just feel like they feel like a homewrecker a little bit. I'm definitely getting that energy. Like they're happy, they have this thing going on, or they really think that you're just not going to give them the time of day. So they're trying to protect themselves and just stay away from you. Water. What is overwhelming you in your waking life? How are you? Okay. So to me, I just feel like they have so much deep emotions and they're expressing that. But it's really hard for them to, one, be masking it. Ooh, hiccups. And two, trying to be move, moving on from you and seeing you with your karmic. Eleven people. So definitely referencing here with this mask that you don't know their feelings and they don't know yours. They do with this 11 feel like you're the other half of them or a divine partner or meant to come in their life. But for right now, they're keeping their feelings to themselves. I don't think they have any intentions of... Maybe they're just in planning mode on what to say. But I think they're telling people I, I have no intention of like coming forward right now. They're, yeah, they're just going with the flow. They want to make sure that you're ready. Again, they're referencing that you need time. So I think they're just waiting to see if, when you're more healed and healthy. Your hard work is paying off. So again, this is going back to your career where they're saying all oh, this hard work you've been doing on rebuilding your image or your self or um, speaking your truth or coming away from something hard. They just see a, like a major payoff coming from you, coming for you. Don't let your past hold you back. Yes, you're freeing yourself from the past. You're talking about something that happened to you in your past and it's freeing you. They're like applauding you over here. Work through your fears. Yeah, it's very hard for you to talk about this. They're re referencing it. And that they just see you being brave and fighting through it. So this is my brand new deck, my, that I got today. I'm so excited. I was waiting for these ones. It is called the Animated Love Oracle. I'm not selling it yet. I still got to tweak it a bit. This was just um, a prototype. Oh, dang. The only one that has the boobies out. <laughs> but to me, this is saying... Um, There's a level of intimacy here where you feel naked. It's like you can see right through each other. This person is recognizing like, I don't, maybe this person has never been comfortable being naked in front of people either. And as you can tell, they're both clearly naked and exploring. Like, I think again, they're referencing past life sex dreams of like this amazing sex. Or you guys been together in this life, but definitely talking about you gotta unlock pile one <laughs> I don't know what you do but do something um oh this is about wanting to like show their romantic feelings maybe they never showed romantic their romantic side to you but I feel like this person is deeply romantic and they feel like um I don't know if they don't know how to express it, but they're like, I need to put the romance in here. They're telling people that. They also see you as someone who's like a romantic. Um, you're better at being romantic is what I'm hearing. Uh, 
we're going. Like, they're hugging each other, they're happy, smiling. I just feel like they think that you two would be the it couple. Like, look at this couple. If they were dancing at your party, everyone would be looking at them like, look at those two. They're fucking adorable. You know what I mean? They just think that you'd be a cute couple. I'm getting a few things. Something about eye contact here, I think. Um, <laughs> they're like, again, referencing to me that you see right through them. But I think you guys are like very affectionate very playful I think they're expressing that the spark doesn't ever seem to die it just keeps getting stronger Let's spread some more out for you do something for someone they could be referencing they want to help you with something or they could see you out here helping people by speaking your truth be in the present and dream of the future. That's what they think you're doing. They're expressing to people like they're, you're just living in the moment. You're healing. But they also see you planning for your future. This one's good. I don't really feel like they're saying any shitty things about you. <laughs> if anything, this person is a bit braggadocious about you. Love makes the difference. They're saying like, I gotta put the love in. I, I gotta show my feelings because... I'm never going to have a chance with this person if I just keep it all to myself. Yep, they want to tell you the truth. They're like, um, again, referencing how they had the mask. Like, they've never told you their truth. But then this is also, to me, referencing that you're speaking a lot of truth. That truth is setting you free. A lot of past life memories, a lot of those sexual memories, they're getting downloads about that in this time. They really want to communicate, but they want to come in smart. So they're, they're just in planning mode right now, and they're expressing that. They see you as a light worker out here helping other people change in the world. But they do see you coming through some loss here. I don't know if it's physical money or if this is like an emotional loss, like a loss of a person. But, um... Coming through that change. Five is change. You're just working your way through it. Again, referencing to other people how strong they think you are. That you're doing amazing. This person's your cheerleader. They're just waiting. They're waiting for you to be healed. They're waiting for you to get through this journey as they cheer you on. They do want to come in and help you in some sense. They're thinking about it. Yes, they see you putting down your burden, setting yourself free from these childhood wounds and traumas, but also they're referencing they're doing the same thing. They see a lot of similarities between the two of you and your lives and how they're going. Again, referencing dreams. So they're getting a lot of future downloads about what it's going to be like. You make this person so happy like you are the light of their life you got light and then you got sun this is also a good omen they feel like everything's going to work out and be okay yeah you're just you're their wish fulfillment <laughs> king of cups in reverse they want to be in control of their emotions when they come forward. They do have deep emotions. They do want to give you an honest commitment, but they're just not ready. And they can't keep their emotions in check when it comes to you. Knight of Wands, they think that you're freeing your spirit by speaking your truth. Again, I'm getting a lot of fire and sexual energy. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Like you're, you're about to be Queen of pentacles in the positive like you you're working hard like they said all your hard work is paying off they're like it's about to come in for the pile number one nine of cups like you're almost there everything's about to come in for you you're really glowing up and healing they're like they're working towards their happiness and they're doing a good job yeah they see you on a new journey starting something new and just going with spirit and going with the flow and just freeing yourself overall doing an amazing job as a human being so 
I don't have anything bad. They don't have nothing, nothing bad to report. This one is like talking good stuff about you. I hope you liked it. If you want more of these in the future, please vote by hitting the like button below. Or if you just liked it, or if it resonated, um, feel free to share this to anyone whom it sounds like to you. Um, I would love to have you join our family here at Starship Tarot, but that's up to you. No pressure. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button. I am doing a birthday vi um, a birthday giveaway. I'm going to put it up on Saturday. So, a birthday giveaway. Just one quick birthday one, and we're almost at 200 so I'm going to do another giveaway when we get at the 200 subscriber mark. So pay attention for those, Pile 1. See you next time. Love and light. Bye. Hey, Pile 2. You picked the twins. <laughs> All right. So here is your stack of pre cards. And we're going to do a higher self channel letter to you. But also, we're going to do my magazine. I don't know what I'm going to name this yet. I keep going back and forth. But my newest art project <laughs> from Recycled Goods. Let me just mix it up a little. And we're going to do some cards that are going to help me get even more tea they're spilling. Let's start with these. Yes, this person has a lot to say about you because half the deck keeps falling out. Oh my god. They definitely run in their mouth. Hopefully it's about good stuff. just pop out of their mouth really fast because <laughs> these cards are popping out. <laughs> First, before we get into what they're gossiping about you so it doesn't get confused, I have a channeled letter from their higher self to you. So basically, if their soul could out of their body and them not die and they could take that soul and stand in front of you, what would that higher self say about how this person feels in a letter to you? Aw, Angel, this is crazy. None of this makes any sense. And you know what? I'm done caring about things I can't explain. I'm tired of fighting it. I can't, I just can't stay away from you. I can't forget you. I see you in every crowd, in every sweet face. I hear you whisper to me in dreams. The spell I'm under. I never saw myself as someone who would get lost in love or need someone in this way. I thought it was stuff of fairy tales. But then I met you and my whistling and smiling at couples kissing in the park. <laughs> what? Then I met you and, oh, I'm whistling and smiling at couples kissing in the park. I'm daydreaming of us together as the years pass. I think of you so much, I'm not even sure if you're a real person or if I dreamt you into reality. I'm hooked and sunk. I would lasso the moon for you. It's a full moon tonight, too. I never knew how much I needed love like this until I saw your face. 
I thank my lucky stars I met you every single day. Love always and forever yours. So always, obviously this person is like in it to you. Pile number two. Let's get your cards. I'm so sad and lost without you. I need you in my life so much. So this person is like literally crying. Like why did I fuck this up or what? Why can't I be? For some reason, you guys can't be together and it's not making them happy. You make me so happy. I could not have made it through this without you. So they feel like you're, I don't know if you're in communication or not, but they feel like in some way you've been supporting them and rooting them on and they're expressing to other people that you make them so happy. Fighting for this connection, I'd fight a million wars for you. Yeah, this person is like, I'm all in. I'm all in this shit. <laughs> I'm coming for this person. They're putting their boots on, pile too. I fear I won't live up to your expectations. So they feel like maybe you put them up on a pedestal or maybe they've put you up on a pedestal and they're afraid maybe the image of you is might be better than what they're concerned. It might be all in their head. I can't say it to you in person, but there is a secret I long to tell you. I love you and I always will. So you have no idea about this. This person's like, I just want to tell them my feelings. I just want to get it out of my body. They want to drop the L word. <laughs> All right. Flutter of wings. Play like kids do. So you could be just friends or they see a strong friendship here. A lot, a lot of fun adventures. Flutter of wings, they feel like a spiritual pull and are expressing that to people like, I feel like this is a, an important person, this is the one, makes the flutter of butterfly wings go off in my tummy. Yeah, my mind is racing. They're like, I can't fucking forget about this person. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm so completely in love with them. Yeah, this person is smitten like hook, line, and sinker, your biggest fan drools when you walk by and they're expressing this. It hurts me to see you with them. Ooh, okay, so you're with someone else. You are on the right track and your journey is about to start a good phase. So they do see you as far as like career-wise a lot like pile one. Um, you're doing well in your career or they see you rebuilding your career in some way and they think it's about to pay off for you. Like you put in a lot of hard work. Um, thumbs up, they're proud of you. I'm pissed off that they treated me this way. They, I think they could be a little bit butthurt about something that went down here. There could have been angry words. Or they might be expressing they think you're mad at them. You feel safe with them in a way you never had before. They don't feel like you're going to be like a cheater or a player. Like you're somebody that it's safe to give their heart to that they could build a future with. I didn't think I would be ever be able to open my Ooh. Okay, so I don't think maybe they, I don't know if they've never been in love or something happened where they thought, okay, that was it and I'm never going to have love again. And then you come into their life and they're like, wow, like love is back, love is in the air. Look at that googly eye love. <laughs> I don't know how to be in your world. Okay, so maybe they're expressing there's a, a difference here. Maybe you're from two different cultures or just two very different lifestyles and they don't know how they would make it work. Can we just kiss and make up? Yeah, they want to, they're like, we need to fix this. There's a lot of bad blood. They would just want to make peace with you and they're expressing that. I've always been a hustler. <laughs> so they're expressing you're always someone who's like been a hard worker, um, wanting to build something for yourself. Their divorce battle heats up. Ooh, so this could be someone you're divorcing that maybe um, wants to take you back. You could be going through a divorce and they're expressing that, that it's about to get rough for you. I'm in a great place. So this person is saying, like, I'm in a really good place. I think I'm ready to, like, settle down. I believe in speaking out. <laughs> so they believe in speaking their truth and... Maybe that's some beef here. Maybe they said something about your ex or um, this is them saying I believe in just speaking my truth and what will be will be it. They can't just sit around and wonder, wonder anymore. They're expressing like I just need to go figure out what the fuck they feel about my feelings. 
date night. So they could be like, I want to take this person out on a date. Or they could be remembering a date you went on. Heart monitor. Yeah, you make their heart skip a beat. This person is saying like, this person lights me up. I believe in the strength of women. So they, if they're a woman, they're like, I believe in being a strong woman. And I hope they accept that. If you're a woman, they, they're like, I love, I love me a good boss. <laughs> Her next big move. It could be his too. Like they think you're planning something big, like as far as work. Running home for comfort. Ooh, they do see maybe you're going back to... Um, old patterns or back to old lovers and they're expressing like you, you kind of stay in your comfort zone she has not been happy this was a long time coming so they're recognizing that you haven't been don't get caught up, caught up on she or he it's just the, the thing I cut out to get the feeling <laughs> um, they're just say, saying you, you haven't been happy in this divorce or separation um, has been a long time coming. Memories that never die. Exactly. They cannot forget about you. They're a little bit insecure. They're like, I don't know if I'm good enough for this person. They're telling, they want to tell all. And I think they're talking about you to anyone and everyone who isn't sick of hearing about it so I channeled two songs about kind of sum up like what they're saying about you we have Lady Gaga Alejandro I know that we are young and I know that you may love me but I just can't be with you like this anymore okay so either they're expressing that you don't want any sexual relationship like you you're looking for something to settle down or they're saying this about themselves like I don't want another fuck boy fuck girl energy I want something serious then we have Charlie Pooh's attention yeah they're saying they want your fucking attention like look at me be attracted to me hello <laughs> alright so let me spread some cards out uh oh it's my deck upside down it is We got Saturn, Aquarius, and Scorpio. So it could be literal Scorpios and Aquariuses are in your chart. But Aquarius is um, like wish fulfillment, um, shining bright in your industry. I feel like they're saying you're doing well. You're a star. You're a star. Have that star quality. Or you could be in the public eye. Um, 11. 11 is twin flame. So they're saying you're, they're, they think that you're their twin flame. Saturn to me is trying to be wise, strategic. Try, I think they're like being a little bit of a detective, trying to figure out how you feel. Scorpio, um, they are a little bit stubborn though, a little bit defensive still. They think you have expectations and they're, they don't know if they can fulfill it. So they're expressing to people like, Am I going to be enough? Like, am I going to be able to satisfy them? They are a little bit self-conscious right now. So it could come from that. Um, which, justice is coming. So they think that you're either coming back into their life very soon. Or this is going to get, like, a resurgence. They just think that um, you're meant to be. So you're going to come back into each other's life. They're definitely expressing that. What energy do they feel from you? She who brings light. Don't focus on she, he, I'm just saying. Yeah, they think you're like the light of their life, light worker as well. They might be expressing that if this is going to work, that maybe one or, you, one or both of you need to move. Because I do feel like for some out there, it's a long distance relationship. Um, uprooting lives here to be together or um, this is going to be a uh, work for you to come together. They're concerned about you. I think, um, like you're obviously going through something really hard and life changing. I think they just want to be there to comfort you. I think they're asking around about you. 
hey, have you heard about so-and-so? Are they doing okay? What's going on? And again, expectations. So they're just, um, they could be working on themselves to fulfill an expectation you have of them. If they're saying anything bad about you um, with this atonement, I think they're kind of saying like maybe um, the relationship was always doomed from the beginning. is this me so they see you as someone who maybe who doesn't really know themselves that well or is trying to figure themselves out maybe they're also expressing that you're insecure a little bit too maybe you're mirroring each other in that sense all right they do think it is safe to love you um they don't think that you're gonna fuck them over um they think that they could build something solid with you and they're expressing that they're trying to forgive anything they're mad at you about or they're hoping for your forgiveness. They're trying to learn from the mistakes. Yeah, they see you as the one. They're expressing that you're the one that they want to marry. So maybe you've never been in a relationship. If you haven't, this is a new love coming into your life. Like um, maybe they're taking it out of a friend zone or maybe... This could be an online relationship I'm hearing as well. Or this is a, a second chance to be new lovers again. They do think that they can't come forward until this divorce or ending for you is done. But yeah, you are mirroring each other with insecurity here. You both feel, you both put each other on a pedestal. You both feel not good enough. You're both trying to clean yourself up for the other one. Yeah, with the self-indulgence, you're... You're focusing on the wrong things because um, you don't feel worthy. So you're focusing on, on like body image, like I need to look a certain way or I need to have my shit together a certain way for this to work. When really, you just got to put love into the situation. But you're still, you're both still learning about um, Things you, that don't serve you that need to go, like insecurity. <laughs> so this person is probably like, I think we're both just indulging in ourselves and, and we're not ready to come forward because we're both healing. Step out of your comfort zone. They want you to, uh, maybe they're saying, I just feel like they're trying to either put themselves in your path so that you guys can have a sit down or they're saying, or they're the ones hiding out, like, okay, I got to come out and, like, face this person again. A win-win outcome is forecast, again, with the justice. They do feel like you're going to get a second chance here. They don't know when, they don't know how, but they're like, I know this person's going to come back. The answers you need are coming. So... I think they feel you're going to reach out soon or communicate and they're expressing that. Naked, they feel uh, comfortable to be themselves, but they also feel exposed at the same time. Like nobody's ever saw them in the way that you've seen them. This sounds a lot like pile one. You might want to watch that one as well. Yeah, they're either saying like, I need to, to reach out to this person, but I really feel like for some of you, they're thinking that you're going to reach out. They're like, getting signs and getting a feeling Ooh, birth baby so this person could be someone who had your children doesn't have to be um or they just gave birth or you just had babies they could be expressing like i can't come forward because they have a baby or i have a baby and like i need to figure that shit out or this is like i want a new start here oh jesus so for some of you, I feel like maybe you had a baby with your karmic and they're like, I think they're still in love because they, they just had a baby, you know? And for some of you out there, they could have had a baby with someone else and like, oh, I fucked up, you know, even though they think we're together because we have a baby when really we haven't been, to, you know what I mean? It could be that or they want to have babies with you could be that as well. It's collective. I have to say it all. Yeah, they want to sit down and get to know the new versions of yourself or if this is an online type of situation, they want to get to know you in real life. 
Oh my god, this person loves you. They love you very much. They're expressing that. They do, they are telling people that they want to take it slow though. Um, they don't want to make um, mistakes like they did in the past. And they, I think they sense here that neither of you are ready to like really rush into anything. I think they are trying to manifest you back here. Trying to um, find a way to have a sit down or a meet cute. That inner knowing of you coming back because they think you're soulmates. Yep, they're just trying to go with the flow and work on themselves. They're like, I know this person's going to come back. I know what I'm meant to be. I need to be patient. I just need to work on myself. They're trying to get out of their comfort zone. They're, they're telling people like they're really thinking long and hard about how far you've come and how far they've come and what it all means and what lessons. Like this person's really trying to get like an eagle eyes view of what is going on and where they think this is going and they're discussing it. They want to work with you. They definitely want to have that sit down. They see you as the one, the ultimate partnership, both in work and love. They have a lot of stress and anxiety about coming forward. They fear your rejection so much and they're expressing that. Again, with the moon, it's a full moon. They have so much desire and love and passion for you. And again, it's secret because you don't know that about them. Again, with Empress, so this person could be pregnant, you could be pregnant, or they really want to have babies with you, have a family with you, show their emotions. But yeah, they're saying right now we're just standing in our own power, working on ourselves so that we could come together and be a power couple. Now my new deck, I've been waiting for this one um this is my animated or love oracle that i made i'm not selling them yet i still have to tweak a little bit but they came in today so let's see maybe you guys are like workout partners again this to me is just saying they see a strong sense of teamwork between the two of you they are both they're saying you're both healing and that maybe you're going to lean on each other or they want to lean they want to go through this hard time with you this is like you two reteaching each other how to love correctly i think they're expressing that maybe you're both focused on each other or in the future they just see a strong bond like no like this is trust like this person's not looking at anyone else and this person's not looking at anyone else they're locked in on each other focused on each other solid commitment they see with you in the future they're expressing that <laughs> i don't know if you are well off or they're well off they just feel like i can't speak either for you you need to watch pile one this is kind of like a continuance of that they just see you guys doing well in business and making good money and wearing the good stuff and like being the popular couple always touchy-feely lots of passion good stuff let's close it out with some Terrell page of wands they want to create something with you they just don't know how yet or what they're still in plan mode once they figure that out they're gonna come in right away but for right now this is to me saying like I just want to take it slow they're telling people like I need to just slow down and yeah knight of pentacles gain what I need to know learn and about myself they could be working on their own career they're like I need to do my own thing for a while and this, my person needs to do their own thing but I feel like this person's still going to come back around. Queen of Wands yeah they're trying to create something they could be doing a creative project um, they could own their own business they're shining in whatever they're doing right now working on their own glow up again referencing they want to work with you they see a collaboration of work and life purpose Knight of Swords. 
to me this is referencing they know that you're going to come back running at them once you figure out what you want and what this connection means you both are going to end up together see how that like i said oh my god they're trying to take the eagle eye view this is them knowing ahead of time that this eventually is going to be you running back for them so right now i think they're just working on their collaborations and creating something trying to build their own empire so that they have something solid to offer so that this eight of wands can go upright and they can move in like they're in planning mode they're working hard to to get ready for this which i feel like you you are as well so i don't think they're saying anything bad about you so again, again like pile one this is very loving energy that's why i feel like you should watch pile one um please like this if it resonated if you want more like this in the future um share this to anyone who it might sound like their story um if you i would love to have you join our family here at starshine tarot but that's up to you i don't want to pressure you if you'd like to join our family if you like the energy please hit the subscribe button below um if you're already subscribed don't forget to hit the bell so you know exactly when all my new stuff is up and thank you so much for all your support and love and i'll see you next time bye hi pile three you pick simba and nala it's 11 11 p.m look at that Love reading 11.11. 11.11 means twin flames. It's not on the clock to the YouTube. I mean like the actual literal clock says 11.11 right now. Alright, so I have a pre-drawn stack for you. And I have a channeled love letter from you to their higher self. But you know I like to do something live for you. So my newest art project. I don't have a name, catchy name for it yet just mix it up a little spirit what are they saying about this love situation to their people about pile three you had the most of these come out oh my god <laughs> let me spread them out spirit is spelling the tea for you guys Big giant moon, full moon is making me very sleepy. <laughs> I've been sleepy all day. I've just been in a funk. Either I'm very creative and like all over the place, which I I have been leading up to the moon. Then other things happen, which ladies, gents out there, spiritually gifted people, you know what the moon does. <laughs> um. Or I just get really sleepy and cuddly. Just want to like be lazy. Every moon phase is different. I had a lot of transmuting. There's a lot of heaviness in in the world. And as an empath and a psychic, I think it's just naturally draining. So that could be also why I'm so exhausted lately. I might not film tomorrow because my boyfriend's coming home. He's been gone for two weeks and I'm just so drained and I have to babysit my nephew. <laughs> so I definitely will be back Saturday for the birthday giveaway. So stay tuned for that. I'll be drawing it on Tuesday, but I'll be announcing it on Saturday. Then we're almost at the 200 subscriber one, so I'm going to do another giveaway when we get to 200. I think last time I looked I was at 180 something. I try not to look at it. It's a little bit discouraging. It's been a little bit of a slow climb, but I don't mind it. I want to earn my stripes, like I said. <laughs> Ugh, my hand itches now. Sometimes in readings my hand itches. 
if you're a psychic medium, comment below. Does that happen to you? I know my nose itches. That's pretty common, but hands always itch sometimes. Always itch sometimes. Itch sometimes, not always. <laughs> All right, so let's start with your channel love letter before I get into what the tea is about you. So basically, if your person's soul, without killing them, could out of their body and stand in front of you and tell you how they really feel about you right now, this is what they would say. It doesn't mean that this is what they would literally say out of their mouth. They might not recognize that they feel this just yet, but this is like higher self truth coming out for you. Ooh, hey sexy. You know you're sexy. It drives me crazy. It drives me crazy how you know exactly what to do to pull me in. And I can't fight it. <laughs> I can't look away. You just turn me on in a way that's almost primal. Oh shit, pal three. There, <laughs> there you are in your power. Knowing I want you to and I have to fight to resist your bait. I know you look at the camera like that because you know I'll see it and stop in my tracks. I know you post things that make me miss you all the more. You're pulling me in and I can't take it anymore. <laughs> this moon is very sexual, I'm telling you. I'm scared you will use me or lie. I'm scared I won't be enough or what you expected. I'm scared of you, of this power you have over me. I'm not sure what we are or where we stand or what any of this means. All I know is I'm on fire for you and I can't get enough. I want to see what this is and where it goes. Love, it's go time. Oh, damn, pile three. I have said in the other two piles, like, this moon man, so much, so much sexual energy has come with it. I can just feel it on a collective basis. It has been nuts since Monday. Whatever, a lot of baby making, I guess. <laughs> Let's get your cards. I love everything about you, flaws and all. Oh, so they're telling people, like, you can't do any wrong. Like, you're all down a bag of chips. I don't give a fuck what that person said, even if they were wrong. That's my person. They're always going to be right. They're the shit. <laughs> like, this person loves everything about you. Cracking the mask. Ooh. You're starting to see that maybe you like them back. Maybe I don't know if you've expressed this or they're feeling like you're coming back around. They're like, oh, so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> like, <laughs> what was that, Dumb and Dumber? I feel like a million bucks. I'm on really high vibes. So either they're in a really good place or they're recognizing you're having a freaking glow up pile three, which I think you are with all these sexy dumb vibes. Love sick puppy. Yeah, they're like, I'm lost without this person. You have a hard time being vulnerable or saying how you feel. You're not somebody who wears your heart on the, on your sleeve. They're saying this, so it's really hard for them to figure out how you feel. They're like trying to be Inspector Gadget, like figuring the shit out. Light up the dark. So they could say you're a light worker or you've been like a light at the end of the tunnel for them. Oh, you're my lantern. So they look up to you. You're their muse. They're inspired by you. They feel warm and safe in your energy. I'm going through a really hard time. I'm depressed. I don't even know what I want right now. So I think they're like, I don't even, I can't come forward to this person because I don't even know what I want. I'm going through a lot of healing work. I think maybe you might be mirroring each other, but we'll get more. I communicated, but you blocked me, and I don't understand why. So they're like, I already reached out before, and this person straight was like, I don't want to fucking hear it. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Becky. <laughs> what can I give you? Oh, what can I give you? I come from nothing. You deserve... Okay, so they're in lack mentality. They think that, like... Maybe they're too poor or like above your station that you won't even give them the time of the day. Maybe that's why they feel like rejected that they weren't good enough for you in some sense. Yes, all that hard work, all that inner growth, your glow up is amazeball. So you're having a glow up there expressing that, that you're doing really well. You make me so happy. You make me feel so loved. I know I can be my true self with you 
and that you love me unconditionally. Don't doubt my love for you. So I think they know, like, deep down in their soul that you have feelings. I don't know if you're expressing it. They're, or they're just, like, really, really holding out hope for you, Pile 3. Laugh off the haterade. So if you've been a bit rough to them, they're just trying to laugh it off. Or if people are like, oh, you need to get over that, or that's never going to happen. They're just trying to laugh it off and have faith in this connection. Why are you so upset with... Okay, so they're recognizing that you're, like, wicked mad at them, and they, they're not really sure why. It kind of came out of nowhere. I'm in love with you, but I'm with someone. Oh, damn. So they're with someone else, so that, that's why they haven't expressed their feelings. They're probably saying, I feel so wrong, like... What do I do about this? Like, I am it with so-and-so, but I love this person. They're like, I think they're depressed about. We'll find out. They crack me up, and I find that so sexy. So you have a really good sense of humor. You make them giggle. Someone has a secret crush on you. Yep, they have a secret crush. You have no idea. I never thought magic was real. So they're saying, like, there's this crazy spiritual magical pool they can't explain it they don't know what the fuck's going on but they're into it <laughs> all right so i channeled two songs that would kind of give me what they're saying about you or the vibe oh my god i thought i was got excited i saw genuine genuine i thought it was my pony which is i don't know why i like stripper music but i do i love that song we got Gym Class Heroes featuring, featuring Adam Levine, Stereo Hearts. If I was just another dusty record on the shelf, will you blow me off and play me like everybody else? Yeah. They're afraid of getting played. They're like, maybe, I don't know if you have like player, fuck boy, fuck girl energy, or if you just have a past of that. Or they just think that the opposite sex or same sex in general are always going to screw them over that's something they're working on they're like i don't know if this person's going to play me am i going to be enough are they even going to bother to dust me off <laughs> um genuine differences my whole life has changed since you can't yeah you they were not expecting love they weren't looking for it they were already in something and then you walked in their life and they were like Wow, I thought I was in love before, but this is love. So they're definitely recognizing, like, they had it fucking wrong, bro, or lady. <laughs> My legs are getting cold. One second. My bathroom. <laughs> I got it for Christmas. I wear it as a blanket, mostly. It's summer, you don't need your arms covered. <laughs> want to know a funny story while I'm spreading this out so my cat and dog don't get along and my cat's really sick so when I was in the shower I played really loud this healing cat and dog meditation and I come out of the fucking shower and my cat is chilling there all zen curled up and my dog is sitting right here all zen and curled up and normally they fucking hate each other I was like so you two will meditate together? <laughs> like, yes, I found a way for you to get along. But as soon as you turn it off, they're back to fighting. It's kind of funny. All right, let's get <laughs> up here. We got Leo, Cancer, and Jupiter. Okay, so it could be Leo here. could be a Cancer in your charts. Or it's energy. So let's talk energy. Cancer is very, very deep-rooted feelings. Also, Cancer's down at the bottom of the sea. It's keeping those um, feelings in check as well. Not showing it. Leo is that passion, that fire energy, sexual tension as well. Jupiter. This person has like a strong moral compass. They don't believe in cheating. <laughs> I don't know why I heard... I don't know if this per I don't think this person has ever cheated. They don't have that energy, but I think they would cheat with you. But is it cheating though if it's your divine counterpart? 
I don't know. <laughs> yes, probably. We got Mural. Yeah, they're re trying to rewrite the story. They feel bad. They're with someone. Oh, look, a kitty. I was talking about a kitty. Maybe you both have kitties. Be your own first priority. They're like, I need to figure my own shit out. Maybe they're trying to decide between you and a karmic and they're expressing that. They're like, I need to work on myself. I need to figure out what the fuck I want. Like they said, they're depressed. They don't know what they want. The stars. Okay, so they're... With the five, they're trying to manifest a change. We'll get more. Don't get triggered just yet. Oh my god, I forgot these. I'm a work in progress. There's still so much that I'm figuring out. Okay, so it's not you, it's them. Like, they're staying away because they're referencing here probably to other people that if they got with you now and they're not healed, they're just going to repeat mistakes. Yeah, they want to finish strong. They want to work on themselves. They want to be really grounded and self-confident and doing well in their own right. Um, they do want to tell you their story. I think um, there's a lot of unfinished business because they're with someone I don't know if they like kind of left you hanging up in the air or if this never really went it went anywhere and there's just like flirty energy and you're always wondering like they want to sit down and be like they're telling people like I want to tell this person how I feel but I, I I'm kind of in this thing right now like I don't feel right doing that when I'm with someone else yeah, first responders show up. They put themselves in harm, harm's way to help you. Ooh. <laughs> Hit the brakes. If they're with someone, this is a very, very, very toxic relationship. Could be even abusive with the first responders. They could be also referencing maybe they put themselves out there in harm's way to help you once and kind of got burned for it. But I do feel like um, the relationship they're in, maybe they're just used to shitty relationships. They didn't think like good relationships um, existed until you came. How the chaos unfolded. So I think they're just going through it right now. Especially with this, like, yucky, toxic situation. I recognize injustices. I feel them very strongly in my heart. Okay, so this is a common um, ground for you. They feel like you are also in a, a turbulent relationship or a turbulent situation. And maybe you're both with other people. And it, it's just so complicated in your own shit that this really doesn't have a chance right now. I think they really want to come forward, um, but they recognize injustices that they're being wrong. Whether this person is abusive or not, this person is very morally sound as in I shouldn't be having thoughts about someone else when I'm with someone. I think they're beating themselves up a little bit here and expressing that. The love of her life. <laughs> yeah, you are... They didn't know what love was or didn't think that it would exist in their life. That they were always going to be with this shitty, abusive situation. And you come in their life and now for the first time they want... They want to do something about this shitty situation. But I don't feel... I'm feeling like stuck energy here. You are the one that kind of made them look at their life like, damn, like, I don't want to be in this abusive nutcase shit show anymore. Yeah, they're so grateful that you came into their life because you gave them the fight to, I don't know if they're doing about anything about it yet or now, we'll get into that, but you gave, you lit the fire under their ass to say, this isn't a healthy relationship, this is. You showed them the difference, if that makes sense. Ooh, there was a sex scandal. So maybe you two did cheat together. Or their person could have cheated. Or they're just saying, they're, this is what they're worried about. Like, I can't, 
I'm getting it a few ways. I do feel like for some of you out there, this was a cheat situation and they're feeling extremely guilty. Um, even if it's toxic or not, they're beating themselves up about it. Um, they could have, like I said, their karma could have been involved in a sex scandal and they're currently dealing with that heartache and hurt. Um, or this is like, I can't come forward and because I'm with someone and it's just going to be like a nasty sex scandal that's going to get in the way of everything and make us look bad. That's what I'm hearing. Leading with kindness. Yeah, they're just trying to be positive and work on themselves. You're making a difference in this person's life and they're making a difference in their own. They are exhausted. They're struggling. They're expressing that to other people like, I'm so fucking tired. I don't have the energy for this and this. And like, they just feel like they have too much on their plate right now. They could be expressing, you're also exhausted. Today's your day to shine on. <laughs> so they're just, I think you're like a light guiding them home. They're looking to you a lot. Again, with grateful. Maybe you've been helping them and they're just... It could be spiritually leaning on you or they're physically leaning on you in this time and you're helping them. Memories and heartbreak. So, they're experiencing a lot of heartbreak with their karmic. Trying to remember the good times to kind of keep it civil even in the dark. They're trying to stay in the high road. If the New York lottery says someone's luck is changing, you were like the lottery. <laughs> like one in a million chances of this happening to them. Or you could play the lottery pile three. We have imposter. Yeah, they feel like a fake with their karmic because they're not in love. They feel like they're just playing a part. A family that nurtured her dreams. I feel like in a family setting with you they would be able to they're expressing like I could do my dream career this isn't somebody who is gonna make me choose that's what I'm hearing I don't know if their karmic makes them choose between work what energy are you giving off she who nurtures empathy gentleness and insight they're just trying to figure they're expressing to their people like I need to figure out what to do how to get out of my situation I need to get myself like not only do they need to get out of their situation but they need to heal before they can come to you as well this is somebody who's just like I just need a second basically wedding rings I do see you as the one they are expressing that they they want to marry you one day <laughs> a lot of passion yeah very sexually attracted to you and again they have a lot of love for you very in love with you oh my god yeah true love they're like, this is my fucking person. But they do have deception here. They, um... Beating themselves up by playing a part with their karmic or possibly cheating. And also not being able to give you their whole heart. Maybe they haven't told you how they felt because they're with a person. That could be true as well. They're trying to heal their own family right now. They could have issues within their own family or this could be childhood wounds they're healing from they're just trusting they're like i just gotta trust the process like i gotta do my shit and i gotta hope that when i'm done with my shit we can have a chance they think they're karmic they're saying their karmic is a fucking parasite and they're like an energy vampire they wish they could just kind of shove over this uh, karmic and make room for you. They're very frustrated. Downcast pride. Again, I just feel like they're expressing to people that they feel like shit. Um, they just feel like a player. That's what I'm getting. Or they feel like they're doing wrong to you and they feel like they're doing wrong to their karmic. They're like in a rock in between a rock and a hard place like damned if I do damned if I don't kind of feelings oh so they could be winning the lottery here with the sudden wealth we got the New York lottery um they could be moving on moving away from this karmic or wanting to move um spirit could be bringing in the money so that they can move 
but they still are very much in lack um, mentality and they're expressing that like I don't have enough to move on from this karmic maybe they would have to move homes they just don't have enough to do that right now I think they're like maybe they're playing the lottery <laughs> they could be playing the lottery to try to get out of their mess and they're expressing like I keep playing the lottery and hoping <laughs> this person's energy is funny I like it communication is key they're probably discussing with people like I want to tell this person Gemini is the lovers as well I think they want to tell you they're in love with you but they're so fucking scared and they feel wrong about it they're just hold their hold your vision to me they're like this is the person I want this is where I'm going I just gotta get through this bullshit and it's turbulent and it's exhausting but I just gotta do it it's time to take action they want to fight for you now they're expressing it like I don't think there's any more doubt in this person's mind I think in the beginning of the reading probably was in the near past because to me this is like I've made up my mind I feel like they're telling people like I've made up my mind like you pile three are the one that they're in love with and they I think they're just done with this fucking karmic whether they're out of the situation or not I don't know but they're at least emotionally done they have a lot of trust in you I don't think it's easy for them to trust But for some reason they trust you and they're expressing that. They're working on their body. They're trying to get in shape for you. They're, I think they're a little bit self-conscious here and they're expressing that. Again with house and buildings. Maybe they're saying to people like I would have to move. I got to move away from this karmic. I got to get my own place so that I can start this relationship with pile number three. Choose love. Ooh. So they're choosing you. Pile three. They're like. Maybe their karmic is somebody with money or it's just a comfort or somebody they've been with for a long time or like they're not with the karmic right. I don't know if in the beginning they did but for right now they're not in love with this karmic. They're like you know what I gotta leave this life that I thought was gonna be the thing or I'm not, I'm not gonna walk in the rest of my life faking it I'm choosing love they're choosing to come towards you and they're expressing that listen with your heart they're telling people that they're just following their heart like it does, maybe people are questioning them they're like I know it doesn't make sense but I'm just trying to follow my heart like I can't explain why I feel the way I do or why this person came into my life but it is what it is and I, I have to go see what this is yeah, they're focused on you with the dragon they they could be expressing that they feel you're their twin flame they're focused on you and getting out of their shit you are their end game pile number three yeah they see a contentment with you they're telling people that like i could be myself i see a happy life love life but they're <laughs> they're telling people like i'm stuck in my head i'm they're I think they're recognizing about themselves that they they're letting fear stop them and right now it has to all be in their head because they can't physically do anything they're telling people that they have good feelings about it though and they're saying that they just gotta go with the flow and be gentle with themselves and and hope that you're gonna hear them out and and still be around the high priestess yes so they're saying I'm intuitively pulled to this person I can't explain it um, this person's very spiritual so they're like this could be my divine masculine or my divine feminine like this is my one I'm following my instincts but they are saying there's so many challenges between the two of you they got to get out of their karmic situation and that's like see how they're starting to climb up the mountain to get to the down the other side but it's very turbulent I don't feel like their karmic is making it their karmic doesn't want to let them go they're expressing that like I want change but my karmic is making it so fucking difficult I think they know about you or they sense in this person that they're moving on and they're just like latching on tighter continuous progress so this person's like I know it's hard like see this started off as a five now it's a six 
They're one baby step at a time trying to fight this clinger of a person and they're like, I'm not making progress like I want to, but I'm still making progress. I think they're just frustrated and ang anxious. Again, very much decisive, trying to figure out how maybe, I think they're just trying to outsmart, outsmart their karmic. They might be like dividing assets and, and it's just getting a little bit tricky for them, but they're very much, you're in their mind space and they're expressing this to people. They want an opportunity to start this new life. They want an opportunity to be able to tell you how they feel. And they're trying to turn that wheel. Ooh, they could also be expressing to people like, not only am I getting away from this karmic, but I'm getting a new job as well. Now, here is my new deck that I got today. I made it. It's called the Animated Love Oracle. Um, it's not for sale yet. I still have some kinks to work out, but... Ooh, so I feel like they're moving on away from a karmic, or maybe this is a long-distance relationship. Maybe they have to move to be with you, or they feel that maybe you're going to come in to visit them. One or the other. One of you has to, like, literally fly or go on a trip to see the, I think it's long distance. Or to me, this is saying I'm going the distance as well. It's collective, I have to say it always. <laughs> hmm, interesting. It's very casual, right? Like, almost a friend. Like, I feel like they have to keep you in the friend zone. Or this is a spiritual connection. Maybe they're trying to put their energy out. Like, I'm just trying to make them feel like they can count on me. I'm also getting secret. This could be a secret relationship. It's very taxing and very daunting. Like, look at how she's laying on. Like, you're the one I choose. I just... I can't tell you right now. It's very strenuous, I feel like. Woo. I don't know why I'm feeling like the Spider-Man movie. Like the Spider-Man <laughs> Like. Yeah. I think they just want to like come in and surprise you. Like come in from behind. Like, bam, guess what? I got feelings for you. <laughs> I feel like they're telling people like. I just want to grab his face. I just want, or her face. Well, I said his, so maybe you're a guy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I think they just want to grab your face and kiss you. I think they're expressing that. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. A lot of sexy time vibes. Yeah. Again, see how one isn't touching? They, uh, there's definitely forbidden energy here. But, oh, it's tempting for them. Final three. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, where's your tarot? It blended in with my tablecloth. Let's close it out with some tarot and see what they're saying. Yeah, again, they're saying, like, I'm just trying to, I'm getting rid of my karmic. I'm, I'm trying to get rid of this. They, they're getting rid of their shit to start a new life with you. They're working on it daily. They don't feel like they have a lot of, Options again. I'm feeling that stuck energy. They don't know how to get out of this. The moon and the moon has been in all three piles, and it's a full moon tonight. It's creeping me out. It's in reverse. They don't want to be sneaky. They don't want to hide their feelings anymore. They don't want to feel ashamed of this anymore. This is really seeing the truth of the connection. Like you're my person. You're the one I want. They're no more in their mind going between you and someone else. They're telling people like, no, this is the person that I want. I just need to get out of this and I don't know how to get out of this, but this is the one I want. That's what they're expressing. They haven't received what they needed to move on from this karmic. I don't know if they're waiting like on court or answers or money. They haven't received that. That's why they haven't moved on. It's been a long time coming. You guys have been apart or they've been trying to get out of this um, karmic situation for a hot minute I'm feeling but I think you're both matured a lot you could both be um, dealing with 
childhood wounds. They're expressing that. I just feel like they're like, this is a long time coming. This person's been waiting for a long time for me to get out of this situation. They're definitely recognizing that. They're, they have no more, like, they're trying not to have stress and anxiety when it comes to you. They have a lot of stress and anxiety and concern about their karmic. But they're no longer uncertain about you. Uncertain at all about you. They're not trying to let fear stop them anymore. Which is good stuff. Overall, I think they're just telling people, like, this is where I'm going. This is the person I want. And I think a lot of people are questioning them or giving them shit about it in some way because they probably have been with this person. They're like, people are entwined. So they're like, really? You're leaving this person for something you're not even sure of? Or I feel like they're getting shit a little bit and they're just trying to defend themselves and defend this relationship. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. I hope um, you like... <laughs> what am I even saying? I'm, I've just got like a wave of like nervous energy i don't know if it's you or your person but holy shit <laughs> you make each other nervous anyway if you like this if you want more if it resonated please hit the like button below share away to anyone who this sounds like in your life or may want to watch this i would love to have you join our family here at starshine tarot but that it's up to you. I don't want to pressure you. All you have to do, if you're vibing, if you like the energy, if you like the channel, just hit the subscribe button and join our family. I am doing a birthday challenge on Saturday. I'm announcing it. I'm picking the winner on Tuesday. You do have to be a subscriber. So if you want to be a part of that, go ahead and hit it now so you don't forget and you're qualified. And then we're almost at 200 subscribers and I'm going to do another giveaway for that one. So stay tuned for those. Thanks again for watching. I love, adore, and appreciate you all. Thank you so much. I love you all. Have a great weekend if I don't see you tomorrow. Um, I will definitely see you Saturday. I might be taking a day off just because the world is fucking draining right now. With all the shit in it. Love and light, everyone. Bye. Deuces. See you next time. Ah, it's a full moon. <laughs>